I'm Greg Watkins, Executive Director of the British Chamber of Commerce, Thailand, and I'm delighted today to be talking about one of UK's largest investors in Thailand, Lucy Electric. And with me today is Regional Managing Director, Carl Selig, and Director and Head of Finance, Southeast Asia, Donna Mulman. We'll start with you first, Donna. Tell us a little bit about the history of the relationship between BCCT and Lucy. Uh, well, Greg, our first interface with the BCCT was about 10 years ago, before Lucy Electric actually set up in Thailand. The BOI, um, BCCT, and what is now known as the Department of International Trade worked together in supporting Lucy Electric and provided a platform on which LET could set up its business. And then since, since then, June 2013, um, LET has been a member of the British Chamber and has been ever since. And that's fantastic. What what do you what do Lu, what does Lucy see as some of the benefits of that relationship? Oh, there'd be many benefits, but I think one of, one of the important ones is how the British Chamber connects people and businesses, where you can um, e exchange information, learn from each other, meet potential clients, suppliers, partners. Um, in addition to that, the BCT keeps us abreast of regulatory changes that are coming up. So, for example, tax and um, PDPA, as two recent examples, and they help businesses understand what the requirements are and what's needed. I think um, for us at the moment, as a business specific, more recently so current, is uh, we have five individuals that are participating in the mentoring program, uh, both as mentors and mentees. And that shows you how the British Chamber can benefit not just the businesses, but also individuals within those businesses. Fantastic. Over to you, Carl. A, a big picture question now. How do you see the business outlook on the Eastern Seaboard, both for Lucy and in general? Yeah, thanks. Good morning, Greg. I, I think uh, from, from Lucy's perspective, first of all, we, we do see finally uh, a lot of focus and investment in, in the EC and the initiatives down there in Thailand 4.0. A lot of talk about it so far, and perhaps some would argue not much action, but we are starting to see it from our perspective. Certainly, some of the infrastructure projects in, in rail and transportation, they are starting to come through, albeit slowly. So we think we're pretty well placed. Um, from our point of view, whatever any of these projects are and joint, joint foreign direct investment, um, there needs to be power supplies. So yeah, we, we're there, uh, we're here. Um, we do feel it's a positive position. I think if you look generally, and it applies to us as well, I think still one of the issues, and we've talked about it before, it is labour. Clearly, with all these new investments, all these new initiatives, um, the area is going to need more labour, more skilled Thai labour. I think that's still an issue for us. Um, we still spend a lot of time and effort uh, trying to get our people trained, um, trying to increase English ability. Vocational training is still an issue, and we've talked about that continually, and that's still, a, still perhaps something we could focus more on. So I think the outlook's good. It is positive, but a bit of caution, reference, labour and, and, and getting the right people into the business. Excellent. And back to Lucy. Tell us, in a nutshell, what Lucy does here in Thailand and what your unique selling points are as a company. OK, well, thanks for that also. I mean, Lucy, uh, I suppose we're a, we're a global leader in what we do. Um, to some extent, it's a slightly niche product. And um, I think we talked about this again before. People know it's a switchgear product. We engineer smart switchgear solutions. Basically, they connect the grid system with electrical uh, power projects so we would uh, necessarily put our pro uh, products into factories into buildings residential buildings uh, commercial uh, enterprises and anywhere that someone needs power at the medium voltage so our competitors are large blue chip companies um, global players and, and everyone will know the name schneider electric siemens abb uh, we compete with them on a, on a daily basis globally and um, i'd like to say that uh, you know we can keep ahead of the game the things that make us special probably is uh, differentiation. Um, that does cause issues, perhaps in, in some of the factory, in the sense of we're changing the products um, to a minor degree sometimes for some of our customers' specific requirements. That does make them, I would say, more empathetic. It does create a better relationship. And again, I think our people also differentiate. We have longevity in our business and, and some of our associates, some of our staff have been with us an awful long time, not just in Thailand, but globally. And that also helps to uh, gel and cement the relationship with the customers. 
Fantastic. It's great, great to hear about some of your success. So what does the future hold for Lucy in Thailand and, and in general? Okay, well, the, the company's still expanding. Um, we, we're doing well. Uh, even through COVID, uh, I would say that, uh, you know, we've had two or three of our best years. Um, even this year, it's going to be a record in terms of our turnover. Um, profit's been a bit of a challenge recently with uh, with product uh, cost increases, uh, material cost increases, and we know the well-documented issues surrounding transportation and availability of containers. But nonetheless, uh, we've managed to battle through this. Our supply chain colleagues globally have done a fantastic job, not just in Thailand, but in, in globally supporting our factories and supporting our customers. So we're still going strong. I think in APAC, uh, again, and, and taking the region as a whole, uh, we, we are looking to um, probably double our business in the next five years. It's fairly ambitious from, from where we are today, uh, still recovering in some aspects. Some countries are still struggling post COVID and with the other things going on, challenges in the world, places like Cambodia, uh, um, to some extent, uh, even Thailand, you know, we, we are still behind the curve in terms of where we were previously and where we thought we might be. But globally, we are doing better. I think um, the region is going to be a very interesting challenge. Um, we'd also, of course, uh, you know, as Lucy, with, with our sustainability and move to net zero through technology, we're also looking at introducing new products, not just, uh, you know, in, in Thailand, but globally. So a lot of focus there on renewable energy projects. Um, and we're already active in, 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 in Thailand for floating solar and wind projects where we support the grid and also electric vehicles globally. A bit slow again in Thailand, but but we are rolling that technology out. So very interesting times. Uh, we're here to stay. You know, uh, this company is, as you know, uh, over 200 years old. And um, uh, you're not me particularly, but we're going to be around for a long time to come, we hope. That's fantastic, Carl. And, and thank you, Carl. Thank you, Donna, for, for being with us today. Lucy is indeed one of UK's largest investors in Thailand, but it's also an excellent example of UK and Thailand working together to achieve business success. Carl and Donna are both regular attendees at our events, particularly on the Eastern Seaboard, Eastern Seaboard but also in Bangkok. So please do make contact with them when you see them next.